All right, guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be doing a color grade challenge. So for this challenge, I chose this movie called The Witcher. But the thing with this movie is it has so many um, different color grades depending on the scene. So I've noticed one thing, like most of the scenes are kind of similar the way the color grade um, depending on indoors, outdoors and whatnot. So as you can see here, this is one of the episodes. This is um, season one, episode three. Um, I chose this scene because it's an indoor scene. As you can see, this is the color grade for this scene, the indoor scene. Okay, look at how good this color grading is. Okay, so this is the Witcher. He goes into the king's um, whatever room. And uh, this is the, see the color grade. I love the color grade. So this is an indoor color grade, for example, okay. This is an indoor color grade here. This is how they color graded in the indoors. Beautiful color grading, guys. Beautiful color grading. So, um, like what I was saying, when you go to a different scene, like this scene right here in the snow, see, this is completely different. Completely different from the indoor scenes, but most of the indoor scenes have the similar color grade, have the same color grade. I'm not going to say same, but they're all similar to the look and the feel of the scenes. So you can see here, indoor kind of a little bit slight differently. This has more saturation in it compared to the one where he was in the King's Lair. Okay, where's that King's Lair scene? Well, it's mostly different, as you can see here. And now uh, you go to all these different indoor scenes. They're all similar, but they all have kind of their own kind of color grade. Like this dinner scene here, slightly different, more vibrant in the colors here. Okay. You go to this scene. In the dungeon, this is all bluish. Okay, so... um kind of it's a cold color grading here as you can see it's more bluish okay as you can see so if I say I'm gonna color grade like the Witcher every scene is gonna be different um, depending on where they are at in the time of the day okay different times of the day of course different color grading and different lighting as well so the thing with this uh, movie is most of um, the indoor scenes, they have candles in the indoors, okay? Because um, I'm sure back in the days, um, they didn't have any um, lighting, like, you know, any lights. So most of the lighting that's used in this movie, in the series, is all, you know, um, like um, ambient light, which means like light from the sun, you know, just using the doors. This is light coming in from the door here and candles. You're going to see candles in this movie. You're not going to see no bulbs. It's all candles. Okay, look at that. The light source is all coming from the candles. I don't know what this is back here. Probably some medicine, whatever. But as you can see, all the scenes, it's just all candles. Okay, candles and lamps. And um, I'm sure, not I'm sure, I know when they were filming this, they had artificial light, but they just kind of try to use, they controlled the light. That's the thing about when you're filming a movie, you control any light and every light. You have to, to get the feel and look that you want. But when you're doing like a wedding, it's hard to, you know, um, design the look. Okay, it's hard to like turn off all the lights and do this and do that and put candles. You can't do that. Okay, as you can see from my weddings here, it's all different lighting sources, mostly bulbs and um, natural light and stuff like that. But it's all bulbs. So the scenes that I chose to color grade are more um, are all mostly indoor scenes because I'm going to get some indoor. Um, I'm going to color grade. Like, um, I'm going to follow the indoor color grade from the Witcher. So, like, this is artificial light right here. This is a lamp from the, um, the, what's that lady? The makeup lady. She brought this here. So, you know, the good thing with this scene here, 
with this wedding i turned off all the lights i turned off that lamp and just kind of try to use natural light coming from the outside okay just to give it that good you know color grade right here look at that beautiful guys so all these um foot all the footage that i have is not log footage this is all rec 709 footage meaning it's footage from the camera whatever the camera is producing um so this is uh what picture profile is this this is our natural picture profile okay on your camera the natural picture profile so this is it this is uh sony a7s okay natural picture profile from the sony a7s so this is the this is it right here as you can see i didn't i haven't done any color grading on these clips yet as you can see they're all you know no effect i put some effects here but let me just remove all the effects here just so we can start from scratch so remove attributes remove all the effects everything okay so now this is just all natural from the camera so we're going to try and go from here to the indoor scenes from the witcher okay guys so we're going to start so i'm going to pick a scene and just follow the color grade from that scene then it's going to be an indoor scene and the color that i liked a lot was the one uh where the witcher was talking to the king so where is that at hold on let me just find that real quick this scene right here so i'm going to color grade from this scene here where the witcher talks to the king so as you can see like i said it's all candles guys it's all candles and natural light so most of my scenes here they're almost really natural light okay and some artificial light but mostly it's all natural light light from the window right here all right so let me try and um color grade kind of like this this uh picture profile here this good picture profile here so let's start here guys sorry for rambling on but i have to i had to explain why i chose this and uh everything else so you follow what i'm saying so now what we're going to do is we're going to be working a lot with our lumetri color here from um premiere pro okay okay so let's go so we're going to start here now no lots no nothing just fresh out the gate so what we want to do is we want to create an adjustment layer so we're going to go here and get the adjustment layer I already created the adjustment layer if you don't know how to do that you just click anywhere here in the project window so you go where there's nothing here left click new item okay not new be new item so new item adjustment layer and then it's going to be created for you okay right here so you get the adjustment layer and you put it on all the clips that you want to edit okay so let me just put it on so i have three different scenes from three different weddings this is one wedding it's another wedding and um this here is the other girl another wedding so let me apply this on all the all the scenes here so um i shot all these scenes with the sony a7s okay guys so let's begin with the, the first one right here okay so let's try and match so now we're going to edit we're going to edit we're going to do our color grade on the adjustment layer and then you can adjust the individual clips depending on the highlights and um exposure stuff like that okay because every scene is probably different the way I, I exposed it as you can see this is a little bit underexposed this is um, a little bit overexposed here so you can go to the individual scene and um you know turn down the highlights some um, so you can see whites highlights you can turn those down but um let's just start from afresh so we go to the adjustment layer okay adjustment layer the witcher okay we're trying to get to this here okay we're trying to get to that okay so now adjustment layer you go in the adjustment layer and let's start editing the adjustment layer let's start color grading the adjustment layer guys and also um i'm gonna save this um look and i'll put it um in the description so you guys can download the look the witcher look if you like it okay and then you can do your own adjustment accordingly so let's go so 
So first, what we're going to do is, as you can see, it's it's brownish, orangish, and um, it's less saturated. OK, this is too saturated. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to just unsaturate the scene, as you can see already. OK, so unsaturated to probably like 80. Um, 80 is good for now. And then we're going to do we're going to bring down the highlights. Because this looks a little bit too um you know a little bit not too um you know the highlights are not too much in here go down some again on the highlights here and um what, what are we going to do the ducks these these are fine for now these are fine we could work with it later but for now this is fine so so first thing i touch is the saturation and then the exposure i go a little bit um the i turn down the highlights okay so as you can see most of the scenes in here the highlights have been um i've slightly probably gone down and if i um just um click here just so this is not visible you can see this is how it is and um we've turned down we've already made some changes here as you can see guys so yeah so that's good that's good that's good this is too much see see that you already got back some details and stuff so there we go so let's go back here uh, okay so what we're gonna do now is uh kind of try and make it a little bit brown right so we're gonna this is definitely a little bit warmer it's not cold it's warm so we're gonna bring it a little bit just a notch maybe right there okay it's looking good already looking good looking good but we're getting to it okay contrast i like to put the contrast up a little bit okay there we go then from here shadows we're gonna go down a little bit on the shadows probably like right here for now and then um we're gonna go and fade it up a little bit we're gonna go fade this a little bit okay probably like right 20 for now okay there we go um sharpen i'm not gonna touch this right now saturation again on the creative go down a little bit okay just just a notch a couple notches down there we go it looks a little bit better not the witcher but it looks a little bit better okay there we go and then now from here we go to uh what is this we go right here to the shadows. Let's try and uh, hold on. Let me see. What was I trying to work with? This no. Here, mm. let's try and go a little bit up here on the shadows. Go a little bit in the orange. See, that made a huge difference there. Okay, so just subtle changes, guys. Subtle changes. This is good. That's good. Okay. This is good. Okay. Here, we're not going to touch any of this for right now. Okay. And then, um, what we're going to do temperature. It's already warm enough, so we don't really need to warm up the creative. Just a, just a little bit, just a notch. Then go down some again on the saturation here. <clears throat> There we go so yeah a little bit like the witcher and then go back here up here again i can see the saturation is still a problem here go back to the basic back to the basic saturation down some okay and then now we play with the shadows go down some with the shadows Go down some on the on the temperature here. Okay, so if you look at these other scenes, you can already see the change. Okay, so we're gonna go down some more on the on the whites here. This was too overexposed, guys. So this just for this, I can also go down in here and work with it. 
I can go here and bring this down some. Okay. So that's a little bit too much. But again, this scene was, um, this clip here was underexposed as well. So bring up some of the shadows in here. A little bit on the dark. Okay. There we go. As you can see, the shadows are more kind of like the Witcher here. The shadows are brownish. Okay, so the Witcher is more brownish like that. So let's go to the video here. Play it a little bit. Let's see the King's part. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go to some other scenes like this right here. I like that, but it's too orange, not orange, too brownish. So what we're going to do here is uh, go up a little bit on the shadows. Let me see here. Okay, yeah. A little bit like that there. Let me go back to the, the tint here. Ah, oh, not this. Where is that at? Where is that? Color match. Let me go down some. It's too much. Okay, there we go. Different scene. Let's play this. As you can see, you already see a huge difference here, guys. See how it's all brownish. It's kind of brownish here. So we still got some work to do here. Still got some work to do. Let's go back here. Mid tones are kind of good though. Mid tones are kind of good. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that's good here. Let's go back up. Creatives. Let's mess with the fade. You don't want to fade it too much. I usually do 20, but 30 is good sometimes. Okay, we got we have about 30 on the fade. Already you can see a huge difference here. You can see a huge difference. And um let me go to the contrast up here. Okay, that's good. Sing a song to your witcher, valley of plenty. Okay, so let's see how it looks. It's a little bit too orange, too. Um, what is that word? Too brown. It's a little bit too brown. Let's go back here. Go down some on the saturation. Okay, I'm I'm liking this. But as you can see, different clips, different um, lighting messes up because if I'm if I'm working just on this clip, this clip looks good. Okay, it looks kind of good. But then again, the lighting here is different from the lighting here. So you have to, you can adjust accordingly all the clips as you wish. Go back up some like that. Go down some on the whites here. Make this a little dark. Okay, let's go back down. Oh, I don't want to touch the curves right now. Let me try. Let me see. Let me try and touch the curves a little bit. Bow, bow. Okay, that's, I usually like doing that there. It gives it that, mm, it gives it that, that thump right there. That thump, right? Okay, so 
let's see how it looks so far so now when we go to this wedding this is a whole different wedding different setting uh, different lighting in here so this is also going to be different okay it's going to be different okay so this scene is kind of good but then again the highlights are so much in here so we go back to the basic here for that clip and uh, tone down the whites a little bit just kind of like that okay a little bit like that the saturation here is too low you can go back up some like kind of like that okay so that's like individual clips you can go and start editing individual clips and um turning down some of the highlights and the whites just to you know give it that nice nice look there a little bit like that here okay we're looking good so far that's just for this clip though we're looking good for this clip okay we're looking good for this clip but then when you switch it to the next clip you have to work with that clip that you switch to again okay as you can see you can put some of the shadows up so all the clips have different you know the looks again like i'm saying you can go on individual clips and work with them okay work with the individual clips that's the thing okay so from right here okay this is another clip again again here we can um go up on the shadows some um, okay let's see highlights highlights she needs some more highlights there okay yep. yep and here again we gotta individually work with this clip as well add some Go up a little bit on the shadows here. Contrast, go up some on the contrast. Okay, so the Witcher is more on some like, you know, it's warm. It's brownish. In the Indo scenes, mostly. Most of the Indo scenes are like brownish. Okay. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to achieve that. Okay, so it's about working with what working with each clip, making sure you know it matches with the other clips that you're working with on the timeline. Okay, guys, this is going to need some, we already put some saturation on this. And um, as far as for me, I can definitely uh, go down here. Let me see, add some more saturation here. Uh, yeah, a little bit like that. Okay, so now when we go to this scene, this wedding, a whole different ball game again, guys. This wedding is... A whole different ball game so every wedding is gonna be you know different the setting is different the setting is different so you just have to when you apply a lot you have to adjust the lot accordingly to you know how you shot it and uh yeah so I think this is closer to the Witcher you know this is brownish as you can see it's more brownish Gives it that nice cinematic look. Okay, definitely. That nice cinematic sorrow look. Look, just look at those colors. Okay, so this is this right here, this 
particular shot looks very good guys very very good with this grade here see that see how it kind of you know matches that grade so <laughs> we could go here what can we do here add some exposure go down some on the whites a notch shadows we want to make it dark but not too dark again you know right there is good right there see that's okay i like that but um i gotta go up a little bit on the shadows here on this particular clip uh let me see the contrast bow i love this shot dude love that shot go up some on the saturation beautiful guys so guys this is the witcher see that so we are really matching the witcher now mostly this wedding here the the shots from this wedding are matching more of the witcher than the than the shots from this first wedding here because of the room and just the lighting in there was kind of different okay as you can see this clip is underexposed so i'm going to delete this clip okay it's too underexposed okay let's come here and this is too over this one which one is that this is too overexposed guys this clip is too overexposed as you can see um i turned down the whites on this clip here see the whites all the way there maybe like this because right here on the regular it was just too much it was too under overexposed here make this invisible see see how it looks it's just too overexposed guys and then let's bring back our grade there see it's too overexposed but it kind of looks good and this shot right here too this is definitely going with the witcher grade see how the witcher looks more brownish okay more tan ish more subtle this is how this looks right here so this scene this shot i would have to work with the individual um clip here probably let me see bring her up some here pinch bring it up some like kind of like right there yes 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 okay that's good this one too i'm gonna have to work with this by itself but yeah so without this let's see this is how it looks without the grade this is with the grade without the grade with the grade so individually i'm gonna have to work on this one as well bow okay trying to make it a little bit dark back there yes 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 everything is a yes right so there we go this looks better here and uh let's go here sorry guys mic 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 check one two one two and as for this one as well I already did some things to it. I'm gonna have to. That's good. 
and then here this clip I have to come up on the shadows here a little bit uh, as you can see it's, it's too it's, it's it's just too vibrant it's too good here so like I said these movies they control everything guys when you're shooting a movie they control the position of the lighting what part of the face the light is hitting and the, the the back the extras where the light is hitting so here this light here is probably coming from an external source right here it's probably somebody holding a lamp or they have some type of a soft box on these people and most of this light is usually soft light guys not harsh light depending on the scenes of course they might use you know spotlights or just like mostly like soft light in a soft box so there you go that's that then we go to this scene here so i think this is definitely good this is um i'm so i'm satisfied with this so when we go back here to my netflix account okay let's play the scene the king scene back Okay, let's go. So the Witcher comes in. See? Just see how controlled this is. This is all controlled. This right here. This is they're probably in a studio right now. This whole thing is all made up. They're controlling the light coming in here, hitting him. They're controlling all this light lighting in here. It's just all controlled. Okay, so um, I think this is this is good. It's just, I think it's a little bit, when I look at this and I look at this, it's a little bit too um, uh, saturated, I could say, I could say. Okay. And maybe let's make it just a little bit cold, a little bit, a pinch cold. On the creative, uh, make it a little bit vibrant maybe. So see what I do when I'm testing these um, looks I go to the max so I can get that nice, you know, look that I want. So maybe bring this down some. But then again, it might look good on this shot here. Okay. But I don't know how it's going to affect the other shots. So I have to. I hate this clip. It's too overexposed. I'm sorry. I'm going to take it off. It's too overexposed. Okay, let's see. So there we go, guys. That's the Witcher lot right here. Definitely the Witcher here. Okay. So we could definitely work on this by itself as well. Because this looks a little bit too undersaturated. Let's add some vibrance in it. Kind of like right here. Okay. We don't want to do too much. Just subtle changes, guys. Sato changes. Let's go back to the main shot here. Let's see. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Sit up brown look tint. That's what's in the Witcher here. See, the light that's hitting his face is a little bit more, um, it's more light hitting his face. Dude said you're speaking to a king. That is exactly my point, said the Witcher. Toss the coin, king. So there we go. Let's 
let's fade this some a little bit. Creative. Yeah, that's good. Okay, see what I was going for here? Yeah. Let's see what we can do with the highlight tint. So see what I did there? I made it more like this, more brownish. I made the highlight more, you know, more brownish kind of, because this is what it is here. Let's go back here. See, everything changed a little bit. So that's the thing with changing the adjustment layer. Everything changes slightly. So I like this scene now. Okay. We go here. Hold on for the tint. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. So we were here. Go down some more on the saturation. Yeah. The Witcher, baby. We, we've, we've got to the Witcher. See? Looks most, it's kind of identical to the Witcher here. Wow. See that? Yeah. So I think, yeah, this is good. This is definitely the Witcher here. Definitely the Witcher. Okay, this is good. It's good. I need to make this a little bit dark so I can go to the individual scene clip, make the background somewhat a little bit dark. Make the shadows dark. I don't like going too much on the on the on the blacks. On the whites can go look down some. Oh yeah, a little bit down some here like that. Contrast. I love your contrast. Okay. Bow. We could probably go up some on this individual scene here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, that's what it is. So now we can, sorry, we can cut this here. Uh, hold on. Okay, so for this wedding, I think this matches the Witcher. We've matched the Witcher on this wedding here. Yep. And then for this wedding, okay, so let's cut this also here. Let's cut that. Let's work with this wedding. Yeah, I feel like I need some type of, um, yeah, it's a little bit too, um, undersaturated here. Just a pinch. Okay, let's go to the creatives here. Curves. Mid tones. It's too much. That's somewhat better. Highlights, we're not touching the highlights on this. Shadows, we're not touching the shadows. Okay, well, okay. Okay. So I'd have to work on this individual clip as well here. Going back to the basics. Um, shadows, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
bring it up some here. There we go. Let me see how it looks before. Yeah, it's too much. Look at that. Okay, let's work with this by itself. Saturation is too much on this same shot. And the uh, white's too much. Okay, let's bring it back to visible. It looks better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. Pretty much it. Pretty much it, guys. This is definitely the Witcher light right here. We go to this lady here. Let me see. Okay, this is a little bit too saturated on the actual light, on actual clip. Bring it back. So as I was making changes to this right here to match these, it affected these very much. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to mess with this lot here a little bit. Okay. That's good, that's good. Saturation is too low. Bring this back up. Bring it back in the oranges, in the warm. Okay, this is definitely the Witcher. See how it looks, bow, bow. Yeah. There we go. See, bow, bow. And individually, you can bring the saturation down on this one so we can match the king. See that? So guys, um, that's it for this. Um, that's it for this color grade challenge. This was a tough one. Definitely a tough one. This was a tough color grade, but look at that. I think we did really good here, guys. I think we did good here. So yeah, this is what it is. Yeah, this is definitely it. So I'm going to um, now save this slot as the Witcher. Indo three because we have three weddings so I all kind of graded them a little bit slightly different so okay we're just gonna do Indo and we're going to do uh save here as a cube yeah replace that so this is it guys so that's the after it's the before that's the after, before, the Witcher. The regular, the Witcher. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. That's it for this tutorial. This one, we have to work on this individually. Hold on. Okay. Yep, so just edit until you're satisfied, guys. Edit until you are satisfied. So the Witcher, the look on the Witcher is more brownish, guys. It's more brownish. Let me see here. Go down some. Let 
little bit there. Go back to this clip, fade it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did really good. So I don't know what to give you. This one, this one here. Oh, this lot right here. So I'll give you all three. Okay, so let me save this as one. Save. Then this one. Two. X, no, 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 not look. Export cube two. And then this one, the one that I like, we'll do this as a three, okay? We'll make it, we'll just leave it like that, okay? We'll just leave it as that. Okay, so that's that guys hope you enjoyed this color grade so what you do is when you download um these cube files all you do is you go to your let's say uh let me just um delete this right now see it's deleted okay this is the regular um before the lot so you i make the adjustment layer you bring it on your clips okay and then you click on the adjustment layer and then you go to the Lumetri color here, and then um, you go to the basic, and then you go to um, input lot, and you go browse, and then you go find where you put the lot. In this case, I put it on the desktop. Movie lots right here, and um, this was the one. And then open and bow. That's it. You got the look. And then you can adjust it to your liking, guys. Once you put that look, you can then adjust it to your liking. Okay, guys. And um, if you are on, um, if you put this in a Final Cut Pro, you can always um, kind of uh, work with the opacity of the, the lot. Let me see here. Okay, this is occupacity here. So yeah, so in Premiere Pro, you go to, you click on the lot, the, the clip that you apply the light, the light, the lot on, and then you go down to, in the effects control, you go down to occupacity, and then you can work with it so from zero to a hundred so you can kind of apply it to your liking maybe 70 percent 60 percent but that's what it is guys yeah so this is a what um 24 percent wait is this it wait am i working with the Oh, yeah okay so 60 percent there we go so 60 percent looks kind of good for a wedding i'll probably do this 60 percent here yeah definitely so why is it coming down what the hell Give me a minute here. Is this changing by itself? Hmm. 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 I'm gonna need to look into that. 
But yeah, I mean, it's working for me, so. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay, so the reason why it's doing that is because it's keying the frames. It's, it's, it's like, you know, it has the keyframes on. That's why it's changing. But we can remove all these keyframes here. Hold on. Bow, 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 bow. And then uh, go here. And uh, yeah. So one, we just do the whole thing. Okay, so don't go like that. And then go to another clip. And then do that again. And then like, oh, let me change it because it's going to make make a keyframe there okay so when you mix the keyframe if you want you can just delete it or you can delete your original keyframe and then just redo it again it's gonna apply to the whole thing so we'll probably do like 50 percent so the whole thing will be 50 percent okay so i guess that's how you troubleshoot that so you learn something new every day so that's um the color grade challenge guys hopefully you guys had fun watching this and this is a great uh this is a great uh netflix series if you haven't watched the witcher yet i strongly advise you go watch the witcher guys it's um i, I can't wait for season two and um i don't know when it's coming but it's coming this year so i can't wait for season two i have to rewatch the whole season one again so thank you for watching guys I really appreciate it and um, I hope you guys have fun and I hope, um, you know, do something creative with these lots. So this is, um, this lot has nothing. It's just the Witcher lot. Okay. Indo. So you can um, apply it to um, your weddings or whatever you're working on and just adjust the occupancy here. Like I said, guys, it's creating keyframes for me here. So you can delete the keyframes and then just um make one major one so probably 50 is um what i'm looking at here okay 50 is good so that's the lot guys hope you enjoy um hope you have fun and make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and um if you appreciate this video give me a like on the video guys i will really appreciate and um link in description to get this lot and i think eight more lots so thank you guys see you on the next one